Hi, welcome to Barrick Mitsubishi. My name's Tim, and today we're doing a walk around video of our 2011 Volkswagen Amarok Trendline. In this video, we're going to go around the outside, we're going to explore the quality of the car, and then we're going to sit inside and go through the, the interior as well. So, I will point out this car is an MY12, just straight off the bat. So, it's 2011, but it is MY12. We've got these nice big headlights with our fog lights just down here. Uh, car is just a little bit dusty. We do have a couple of minor stone chips which have been touched up. There's a couple here as well. Uh, but otherwise, this car presents very, very well. I quite like the nice big Volkswagen badge here in the center. A bit of chrome accenting with the black against white. Um, it does give this ute a nice look to it. Moving around now to the side, we do have an indicator here in the front driver's panel and a nice guard flare going over the front tire. What appears to be brand new tire tread uh, on this vehicle, as well as nice big alloy rims with no scuffing on it. Color coded side mirror caps here as well with color coded door handles. Uh, I thought there was a mark, but it just wiped off with my finger. That one came off too. So far, this vehicle is looking like it is in very, very good nick. There's a little bit of a scuff just here, I will point out. I'm trying to be picky for you guys, just to really give you a nice idea of the quality of the car that you're gonna be looking at. There's another little stone chip here as well. Moving down the rest of the car, as we get to the tub, the side of the tub is presenting very, very well. Uh, just here, we do have another brand new tire with um, another alloy rim, which has no scuffing on it as well, which is really, really good to see. Coming around the back, you'll see we do have a nice black bumper and the red tail stoplight coming around. Wait for my camera person to come around the back. And we do have nice big rear step with a tow bar fitted and rear Volkswagen badge with our four motion TDI badging on the side and an Amarok badging on, on the other. I will say that it has been raining recently, even though it looks quite bright today. We do have a nice tub liner fitted to protect the car. A little bit of water because the car is on a slight decline. Uh, so a little bit of water just sitting in the uh, tub liner just from the rain, but as we drive, that will just empty out. Moving around now to the uh, passenger side, we do have mud flaps fitted to this car and another wheel with brand new tire tread, as well as another alloy rim with no scuffing on it whatsoever. We've got our diesel fuel filler cap here on the passenger side. Color coded uh, side handles on the doors and just having a look for some stone chips see if there's any marks that i really need to point out here there's a couple of touch-ups here on this front one another one down here and another one down here uh, that's all i've really come across so far on this vehicle as well we do have another side indicator just here on the front guard and once again brand new tire tread with another alloy rim with no scuffing on it whatsoever so so far for a 2011 vehicle this is presenting very very well uh, i'm going to pop the bonnet now we're going to have a look at our diesel motor which is powering this vehicle along the roads the release cap Ah, there we go. I think the release cap is actually on the passenger side in these vehicles. Some of these European cars trick me sometimes because they do alter which side the bonnet release is on. So being a German made car, they have put it on the passenger side. And then lifting up under here with our control arm, sliding it straight in. And there we have it, a nice, big, clean engine bay as well. Pay attention to how well this car has been looked after. This is the two liter four cylinder diesel motor which puts out 120 kilowatts and 400 newton meters of torque behind this engine we do have the six speed manual transmission and then the 80 liter fuel tank which we can average around 7.9 liters per 100 k's and expect around just over a thousand kilometers from a full tank of fuel that tow bar fitted on the back with an electric brake system you can tow 2.8 tons this car does have four airbags and a five star ANCAP safety rating now looking at the interior of our car, this car does present pretty well for a, uh, a 2011 uh, Volkswagen Ute. Uh, I'm going to run through the quality now and some of the features. On the right here we do have our side mirror adjustment and full electric window control with child light. There is a little bit of fraying to the fabric just here, I'll point that out to you as well. Moving the steering wheel to the right, we do have two keys with this car. One is just the master key, the other one is the central locking key. And we've got our windshield wipers here on the right control arm being German engineered. And just down here we've got our headlight control as well. Moving the steering wheel to the left, we've got our indicators and cruise control just here on the left control arm. And we've got a nice little lever here to adjust our steering wheel height up and down. Moving to the center of our car, we do have our hazard lights at the top with our CD player and our media unit just sitting tucked nicely in the center of the center console just there with our air conditioning vents. I like this styling of them when they're round, just, I reckon it just looks much neater than um, having those big square ones. Moving just down here, we do have our full air conditioning unit, nice and easy to use, very straightforward. This car is made of very hard, durable plastic as well. We do have two of our uh, 12 volt sockets here as well, with all of our four wheel low gearing and uh, center diff lock buttons, rear diff lock buttons, off-road modes, all that just on either side of our manual gear boot. Very good condition is leather, very little wear on the actual gear stick itself. Moving just back from that, we do have two cup holders here with a nice handbrake. 
centre console lid, lifting that up reveals nice deep storage in the centre console um, and tidying up the look of the handbrake as well. Volkswagen's done very well there, I feel. I'm going to get my partner now to uh, scan around the interior of the car. It does present in very, very good condition. Um, there are a couple of minor marks, that, which we'll point out to you as, as the camera goes around, but otherwise it is in very, very nice condition. A little bit of wear on the rear seats here. Um, but like I said, overall fantastic for a car this age. This car has done 67,800 Ks. I'm gonna have a look at the service history for you. So the first service was completed at 14,000 Ks. Next service was completed at 30. Then we, had, then we had a service at 43, 43 as well, so we got two done at the same time it looks like. Um, and then the next one was done at 57 and then 67 intermediate service done by us. Cars in brilliant condition, ready to go, manual transmission, 4x4 system, diesel. Uh, there's just no, no new tyres you need to spend, it's just ready to go, tow bar on it already. So I'd like to take this time to thank you for watching our walk around video of our 2011 Volkswagen Amarok. If you have any questions please give us a call on 9907055 and one of our friends. Staff will be happy to help with your inquiry.